So to open the movie, um, I wanted a very non-typical wipeout shot with a vehicle pass by which was almost abstract. So if you're a long-time fan of the series and think back to the original backstory for Wipeout, it's also a metaphor for a particular moment in the life of Pierre Belmondo, the creator of anti-gravity technology. Wipeout 2048 is all about going back to where it began, so we thought it'd be really cool to include some visual references like this one that are metaphors to emphasise that point. If we jump back into the movie for a second now, you'll see here that the, the vintage vehicle gets a bit of airtime as well, which is obviously a, a nod to that wonderful shot and, of course, a nod to uh, anti-gravity again. One of the main points of the intro is primarily to show you how the sport uh, of automobile racing has evolved in the world that Wipeout takes place in to where we begin in 2048. But also to help ground it a little in reality, especially through our choice of vehicles in the early stages of the intro like this one. The next transition takes us to an intermediate stage. Uh, we call the shop Blueprint. It's kind of like the design that actually never made it um, into, its, into real life. Um, the next stage, we go into a transition into the open-wheeled contemporary racing category. Again, these are really cool annotated visual transitions, are just another way to show you how the sport of motor racing evolved over the years eventually settling on Formula One style racing, uh, which is right where we are now in 2012. <laughs> So if you blinked, you may have missed the Pfizer logo appearing in the top left corner there. If you know your Wipeout history, then you'll know that Pfizer is one of the longest running teams in the sport. So here we wanted to have a little fun by fast forward into the year 2025 uh, with the advent of what we're calling ball racing. So it's almost like ball wheel racing. It's the intermediate step between anti-gravity being fully uh, commercialized. You know, it had started, uh, but it hadn't really made it into a, a commercial entity. You see in the sequence that the vehicles actually drive up the side of the, the wall. Uh, what we did, didn't want to do at this stage is that say that this is AG right now. This is still very much a surface-based racing game, so the, the mag strip stuff was obviously the next phase that we go into. OK, and now the money shot, the Pfizer Speed AG Racer, where we arrive on the starting grid in 2048 for the birth of the Anti-Gravity Racing Championships and a quick glimpse of Nova State City. <laughs> For the final shot, I really didn't want to give too much away here, but I did want to show how beautiful this city was, but at the same time, it is still very much a city that you recognise. You know, we've got this, this beautiful vehicle uh, speeding up the mag strip in the, in the centre of it, which suggests the future, but the vehicle, the buildings on either side are very much contemporary sort of style, but the higher up we go, we see that the, the technology is changing in construction, and we also see the fact that we've got a lot more airborne vehicles in there again, given a, a big, bigger indicator of the year that we're actually in right now. So really what we want you to take from this intro is that although Wipeout is about the racing and that's what we're focus on, focusing on, there's so much more at play here behind the scenes. Absolutely, you know, I think um, the world it takes place in is vast and you know, we all feel it has such a, a richly detailed history um, and we feel really that we're only just scratching the surface. Uh, by going back to where it all began, particularly with Wipeout 2048. And with that in mind, watch this space, you know, maybe there's uh, uh, possibilities in the future yeah. uh, for where we could explore further.